role is to substitute the actual uh, mechanism, the current mechanism that we have for financing film projects, uh, local film projects, which is loans. The loan system didn't really work for the filmmaker, nor did it work for the government. Um, in many cases, um, the filmmakers defaulted on these loans. Um, we were unable to uh, generate new loans for filmmakers. So our first um, primary objective is to change the loan, the loan system and also to provide cash grants as investments from the people of Puerto Rico to the filmmaker. The cash grant is easier to uh, monetize for the filmmaker and for us to uh, fiscalize, so uh, to keep track of over multiple fiscal years. So uh, we also can do more with grants than with um, other mechanisms. Um, for example, the previous film law would allow for two to three films to be made per year, whereas the grants we're proposing could allow for up to seven, eight, or even nine projects during one fiscal year. Um, so we're really excited about the possibility of expanding the amount uh, of films that are made in Puerto Rico, local films. Two of the main um, mechanisms that are, are available to local filmmakers through the incentives code that's being proposed by the Secretary of Economic Development. One is cash grants, and the other one is the investment. The two different mechanisms. So the, the return on investment on, uh, on the grants, the cash grants, is a positive return on investment. So it's uh, zero plus one. And we win as a government, as a people, because uh, that investment creates jobs, creates economic development, and in the case of film, cultural and social development as well. In the case of the investment, which is up to 25% of the film project or up to $125,000 in cash, the return depends on each project. We're betting on, like most jurisdictions, many projects. Because as it works with the film industry, um, the music industry, and even the television industry, I've, I've worked in all three, you really have to produce more to see the return. You can't really bet everything on one project. So we're trying to triplicate the amount or the output uh, of local filmmakers per year to improve our um, chances of recouping the 125000 of the initial investment. And we want to recoup it so that we can give more grants in the future. Uh, but this system guarantees some income. So um, even in a movie that might make $300,000 and not the $500,000 of a typical Puerto Rican movie, we'll be making some income. Whereas in a, in a, in the loan system, a $500,000 movie that made 300, we would lose everything. So we're betting on, we're betting on the project. We're betting on the filmmaker. We're betting on the income they'll be able to generate, on the jobs they'll be able to create. And we're creating, um, like I explained earlier, an ecosystem where most of these projects will be paid with the filing fees uh, that are paid by out-of-state productions that come to Puerto Rico. So we've created an ecosystem where um, the more U.S.-based films come to Puerto Rico, the more local films we can make in Puerto Rico. First of all, uh, regarding the 12, the, the 12 will receive the same mechanisms or tools and we will choose none of them. They go through no selection process whatsoever. These are projects that have uh, expressed interest in the program and that have told us that they're ready to film. In the, if in fact they are ready to film, they will be processed through the system and, uh, and they'll re receive all the monetary stimuluses and grants available. If they are not, they will, they will come to a certain term within the law and then the next film project will be attended to. So it could be these 12 or some 16 that I might mention to you, but it might be other pro projects. We will always um, help those projects that are ready to film, that have found the ways to film. So it's less about what I decide as a film commissioner and more about the tenacity of the filmmaker and the script and the principal cast attached to that script and the value of that than the value of my opinion picking and choosing projects based on my criteria. But nevertheless, um, the minimum amount of investment in Puerto Rico that we will create the first year is about four and a half million dollars because it's relative to 
a minimum of at least 25 to 30 percent of a million dollars will be investing. So the economy wins either way. We'll be generating uh, roughly four to four and a half per year, but we, that could be higher depending on the nature of the project. We have projects that are $500,000 projects, but we also have projects that are a million and $2 million projects that are, are going to be channeled through this mechanism. So really, our expectation over the next two years could be anywhere between 10 and $15 million of investment into the economy, plus all the jobs that, the, that that could. Of time they wait is mostly tied to the selection process. So now we're bypassing the selection process. So uh, previously with the uh, uh, current local film law, they, there would have to be a request for a proposal. And then you would get X amounts of proposals. And then the film commissioner will look at the proposals. Um, and then the film commissioner would submit these proposals to a board. And the board will consult and then generate an opinion based on their own uh, criteria and not one specific criteria established by law. We're doing away with the selection process. So now it's instant. You want to do your investment? You're ready to, uh, to make your movie, you have your script, it, you're ready to go. Uh, it really all depends on mostly the tenacity of the filmmaker and, it's, and his or her ability to get his project to, you know, done. Let's grow this industry together.